everyone welcome back to my channel uh, so today's practice is going to be a kind of inversion type flow so if maybe if you're newer or even more experienced with inversions as with every practice taking it at your own pace modifying whenever you need to taking rest whenever you need to versions can be kind of really get the blood moving so maybe you have um feeling a bit tired um all right your body's a little bit off today uh, taking time in any of the inversions, the balances, kind of the uh, heart openers that we do. But again, doing that with every practice that we have. Uh, so any props that you might need today, maybe one block, maybe two. Um, we kind of work into if you can handstand any things. And blocks are always really great, especially if you need a little bit more height um, from the ground to where your hands need to be. So feel free to take any props. And we work into maybe a little bit of crow as well. So if you're unfamiliar with crow, block can be really handy. And then a cushion or like a pillow if you want to use that at the top of your mat, just in case you feel like you might tip over. That could be a really great kind of like safety net. Uh, so feel free to take any props that you need for your practice before we get started. And let's get going. So we're coming into tabletop. We're just going to start uh, with a quick warm for our wrists uh, since we will be on our hands quite a bit. And it's always a really good way to start your practice is with a good warm up for the parts of your body that you don't really think about, like your wrists. So bring the hands or the fingertips out to the sides grounding into the tips of your fingers and just moving side to side, whatever range of motion feels comfortable. So another one of my videos, I think it was the, I can't remember which one, it might have been the second dynamic flow. Uh, I did do a uh, warm for the wrist, so uh, it'll be very similar to this one, but always really good. If you have your own routine, uh, we're just going to start moving in circles, start one direction, again, range of motion up to you. Uh, it's always really good to kind of get into your own routine, switch directions. And if you have your own little thing that you do, feel free to do that. We just want to get as much warm up into the wrist as we can. So from here, we're going to flip our fingertips back towards our knees. So the heels, the hands face forward, keeping the arms as straight as you can, taking a tiny little bend if you need to. We're just going to move through our cat and cow like this. So as you inhale, drop the belly, move the chest forward through the arms, look forward or up. As you exhale, chin comes into your chest, round into your spine as you tuck your tailbone under. So moving through those two transitions, cat and cow, your own breath in your own time. So moving a little bit slower maybe, so you can feel that stretch and that length coming not only through the front and the back body along the spine, but also into the fronts of the forearms. So all the way from that wrist crease in through kind of the crease of the elbow as well. Moving through a few more here. And then coming back to center, if you need to give the wrist a little roll, we're gonna come onto the tops of the hands. So the fingertips face back, the palms are facing towards the ceiling. And I want you to try and straighten your arms as much as you can. So if they're bent out to the sides, try and hug them in, straighten the arms. And if it feels like too much, you can always do one hand at a time. Ooh. So kind of stretching in the opposite way. This might feel a little bit weird. I don't know if you're kind of stretching this way. And then set the hips back onto the heels. Kind of roll the fingertips, the wrists out. And now we're just going to flick the fingertips, almost like you're trying to get uh, droplets of water off of them. So this starts to just kind of activate into those little stabilizer muscles, into the fingertips, into the wrists, which are really important uh, when we start to do inversions and balances. You really want to focus on your hands, your fingertips, where the weight is moving forwards, backwards. That will help you kind of find that balance and even that lift in a lot of postures. Just take a few more breaths here. Keep going. So you're kind of doing it as quickly as you can. And then we're going to come back into tabletop just for one more exercise. So all we're going to do is ground into the knuckles, the four knuckles. So kind of exclude the thumb here. And you're just going to lift the palms of the hands away from the mat, and then bring them back down. So all you're doing is lifting, so the thumb's gonna lift as well, it's okay. Lifting up and down, so you should feel a oh, stretch through the palm. 
So they might not lift very high, that's okay. Try and keep the knuckles grounded if you can. Make sure they don't lift. Do a few more, maybe move a little bit quicker. You might feel a little burn into the forearm. And then relax. Again, I like to interlace my fingers, give them a roll one direction, give them a roll in the other direction. Oh, and then we'll come into our first down dog. So when you're ready, grounding back into the tips of the fingers and just kind of by taking a bit of free movement here. So side to side, maybe forwards, backwards, lifting the heels. So just as important it is to kind of stretch out through the fingertips and the hands, it's really important to stretch out through the toes and the soles of the feet as well. So we'll do a little bit of that here. So ground into kind of a more stable downward facing dog. As we inhale, we're gonna try and keep our upper body the same. We're gonna lift our heels, come onto the balls of the feet. So notice that I'm not coming forward, I'm trying to draw my chest back. So you can have a little bend into your knees if you need to. And then as we exhale, bring the heels back down to the mat. Inhale, lift the heels, come onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, lower. Do two more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale, lift the heels. You're gonna lift the hips. And then come forward to a high plank. Shoulders come over the wrists. So nice and engaged in, grounding into the tips of the fingers. Heels are pressing back, kneecaps lift, shoulders in line with the hips. And then we'll move again here. So inhale, we're coming high onto the tiptoes. The shoulders come past the wrists. Exhale, come back onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, press forward, exhale, come back. Two more like that, inhale forward, exhale back. So you're just getting used to um, bringing that weight forwards and backwards. And then do one more just for fun. Now forward, exhale back. Beautiful, inhale forward, shoulders past the wrists. This time as you exhale, Move through Chaturanga all the way down. Little baby cobra, lift the chest, shoulders come away from the ears, and then lift the hands off the mat, just about an inch or two. Take an inhale here, exhale, reach the arms back towards the heels. So breathing deep. You can look forward, you can look down, keep the spine, the neck long, keep breathing. Working those upper back muscles. And then bring the hands back under the shoulders. Keep them lifted away from the mat. Bring the hands down a little bit further down from the shoulders. On your next inhale, press into the tops of the feet. Upward facing dogs. You're going to lift the chest through the arms. Lift the thighs, lift the hips. And then with that exhale. Downward facing dog. Wonderful. So from here, take a few breaths in your down dog. So we're gonna move through, um, normally I don't like to move through sun salutations, um, but for this practice, we're gonna do it. We're gonna move through some sun and we're gonna kind of increase maybe the difficulty every time that we move through them. So we'll move through maybe three or four rounds and we'll kind of spice things up a little bit each time. But again, you can always stay on whatever level that you want. If you want to make them easy the whole time, if you want to maybe fire them up a little bit more the whole time, feel free, it's your own practice. So from your downward facing dog, on your inhale, look forward, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees one foot at a time. Step forward. Halfway lift, slow spine. Exhale, tiny bend into the knees, fold forward. Chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, way back to the heels, arms high. Exhale, fold forward, keep that tiny bend. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, so step back from toes or knees, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale into up dog or your baby comb. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, right leg high. Step between the hands, exhale, warrior one. One big breath. Inhale, to lift. Chaturanga with your exhale, right leg back. All the way or halfway. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, exhale, left leg high, inhale. Step between the hands, exhale, warrior one, one breath, inhale, rise. Chaturanga, exhale. 
Again, your option. Whatever you want to do. Downward facing dog. So we'll start to move the heart. Kind of move the body a little bit more. Inhale, look forward. Heels lift. Bend the knees. Step her up. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Inhale. Crow pose. Exhale. So lift the heels. Bring the hands out of the shoulders. Wide knees. Maybe lift one foot. Maybe lift both. Heels come into the hips. And then when you're ready, back to chair. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, step or hop. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Right leg high, inhale. Step between the hands, exhale. Warrior one. One breath, inhale. Chaturanga. Right leg stays lifted. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, left leg. Step between the hands. Warrior one. Rise up, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, left leg stays lifted. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Option here, stay with down dog or come in and off in two breaths. Green dolphin, come back to down dog. Look forward, inhale, heel lift. Bend the knees, step her up. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Inhale. Crow pose, exhale. So you can always skip crow if you want. Take an extra few breaths in chair. Completely up to you. Weight comes forward. This time, you can stick with what we did last time. Or from your crow, you can do one feet, one foot, or both at the same time into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, exhale, right leg high. Step between the hands, exhale. Warrior one, reach up, inhale. Hands down, a little different this time. Left leg lifts. So left leg stays high, little bend into the right. Right leg stays low, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale, left leg. Step between the hands. Warrior one, inhale. Same thing, hands down. Right leg lifts, keep it high. Bend the left knee, keep the left leg low. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. So we'll do one. Sun B, fully kind of the way you want to do it, whatever variations. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift. Forward fold, chair pose, inhale, crow pose, exhale, inhale, kind of prepare to look forward, chaturanga, from wherever you want, inhale, exhale back, inhale, right leg, step between the hands, warrior one, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, inhale, Exhale back. Left leg, inhale. Step between the hands, exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Chaturanga with that exhale. Inhale up. Child's pose, exhale. Take a few breaths here. So when you're ready from your child's pose, look forward, come back into down dog. So take your time, we take a few little free movements. Pedal into the feet, move with the hips. And then when you're ready, inhale, right leg high. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, lift. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale. Step between the hands, exhale. So crescent lunge, big inhale, reach up. And then warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse, lift into that right heel. Exhale, side angle, take a breath. Reach forward through those left fingertips. Sweep that left hand down, come to Prasarita. So turn the right toes to the left. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, the full. So hands might come back, 
option here if headstand is in your practice, either tripod or bound. I like to do bound headstand. Supported, so if you need a blanket, maybe a pillow, maybe walk the feet in, hug one heel in, hug the other. And then take your time. Moving into whatever kind of leg variation you want. If headstand isn't in your practice, just staying in prasarita, stretching through the thighs. If you're in headstand, make your way back into prasarita, wide legs. Hips come high. Bring the hands under the shoulders, inhale. Walk the hands forward. Crescent lunge, inhale. Cactus arms, take a big exhale from your mouth. Inhale, reach forward. Looks like you're trying to grab something. Exhale, standing splits. Hands come down, lift that left leg. So come on to the tips of the fingers or bring the palms down, whatever is more comfortable. We'll find a little bit of movement here. So as we inhale, keep that left leg high. Lift that right heel as high as you can. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heel. Exhale, we're really working into that right calf. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Step the right left leg back. Step the right back to meet it. High plank, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Come into dolphin, one elbow or both at the same time. So we've done this transition before. Usually we do it with bent knees. We're gonna try it with straight legs this time. So from dolphin to chaturanga. So inhale, look forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg high, inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale to lift, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left knee, right elbow. Last one, inhale. Step between the hands, exhale. Crescent lunge, reach up, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse, maybe lift up with that left heel. And then side angle. Left arm comes wherever it's comfortable. And then reach forward through those right fingertips. Sweep the right arm down towards the mat. Come to prasarita. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold again. Another option here, another opportunity. Headstand if it's in your practice. Completely up to you. Again, I like the supported headstand. Gives me more support. Again, if you don't feel comfortable here, then don't go there. Take your time up, take your time down. So once you come down from headstand, if you were there, don't come up right away. Take a bit of time. Stay with that fold. You don't want all the blood rushing away from the head. And then find a halfway lift. Inhale. And then walk the feet forward. Cross and lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale, reach forward like you're trying to grab something. Exhale, standing splits. Lift up with that right leg. So again, that right leg stays strong, stays as high as it can be. Either on the tips of the fingers or in the palms, maybe you're on blocks here. Find that same bit of movement, keep the right leg high. Inhale, lift that left heel. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, look forward, right leg steps back, followed by the left, high plank, and then downward facing dog. Come back into dolphin, inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog, exhale, three deep breaths. So move through similar sequence, similar flow, maybe adding in a handstand, a little heart opener, a little wild thing here and there. So 
and kind of take our time. Next inhale, right leg high, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale to lift. As you exhale, bend that right knee, open your hip. Stay here or flip your dog, come into wild thing. Take your time. So ground into the feet, Ooh. open the heart. And then come back. Inhale, right leg high. Step between the hands, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, find that reverse, right heel lifts. Side angle, exhale. Left fingertips reach forward. Sweep that left hand down, come to Prasarita. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Take a few breaths here. Again, option, headstand if you want. Or stay with a regular fold. We're going to opening that back body. If you're in headstand, come back down. Take your time. Find a halfway lift. Inhale. Walk the feet forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reach up. Cactus arms, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, reaching forward. And then standing splits. Hands come down. Left leg lifts. So option to just do those same calf raises we did before in our standing splits. Or coming into a few handstand hops. So if you're in your handstand hops, just give that right foot a little wiggle back. Hands come more forward to the shoulders. Left leg is high. Lift that right heel, bend the knee. And then leading with that left leg. I like to hug my right heel in towards the hips. Beautiful. A few more. And then when you're ready, malasana. Feet come wide, hands to heart. Take a breath here. Close the eyes. Breathing into the belly. Beautiful from here. Wide legged forward fold. Just kind of feet mat distance. Halfway lift. Downward facing dog. Step all the way back. Come into dolphin. Inhale, look forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale back. Left leg lifts in it. Knee to nose. Exhale. Left leg high. Inhale. Left knee, left elbow. One more. Inhale. Left knee, right elbow. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Bend that left knee. Open the hips. Stay here or flip your dog. Come into that wild thing. Press into the feet. Hips come high. Chest open. And then come back. Inhale. Right leg high. Exhale. Step between the hands. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Warrior two. Exhale. Inhale. Reverse. Left heel lifts. Side angle. One big breath. Reach towards the front. And then prasarita. Turn to the side with that right arm. Let the left toes follow. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold again. Option here. Come into that headstand, tripod or supported. Or work into whatever fold you want. Maybe if you did tripod or headstand the first time, you want to take a little break the second time. Again, if you're coming up, make sure you take your time on the way up and then take just as much time on the way down. You're not going to fling yourself back down. When you're ready, come back to Prasarita. Legs come wide. Take your time. Halfway lift. Inhale. Hands walk forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reach up. Cactus arms, exhale from the mouth. Inhale, reaching forward. Standing splits. Right leg lifts. So again, you can do those little calf raises that we did last time. Or maybe work into a few handstand hops on this side. Completely up to you. So again, hands come more forward to the shoulders. And then your gaze is more forward to the hands. 
You want to lift that right leg nice and high, lift the left heel, take a little bend into that left knee, and then little hops. So again, I like to hug my bottom heel into my hips. I find it kind of helps stack the hips over the shoulders. Do a few more if you want. And then Malasana. Closing down the eyes. Breathing here. Beautiful. And then straighten the legs, folding down. Halfway, lift up. Downward facing dog, step back. Come into dolphin. Inhale, look forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up. Back to that child's pose. Take a few breaths here. And when you're ready, come back to tabletop. Come to lying on your mat. So do a little bit of hip opening, figure four, right ankle over the left. Draw the knees into the chest, flexing into that right foot. Make sure the head, neck, and shoulders are nice and soft. And then switching, other side. Left ankle over right thigh, flex the foot. Draw the knees to the chest. Find that space through that left hip. Take a few breaths here, and then release. So from here, we're gonna do a little flip over onto our belly. So we did quite a bit of work in our shoulders with kind of strength. We'll find a little stretch for them. So hands come underneath the shoulders. Bring the forehead on top. You're gonna bend that right or left knee. No, that's right, bend your right knee. Reach the left arm out to the side, so the palm faces down. And then nice and slowly, you're gonna roll over that left shoulder. Maybe the right toes come down, maybe that right foot comes down, or maybe you just stay with the knees stacked on top of the other. So you're stretching through that left shoulder in the front, which might feel a little bit tight after working on your hands. Breathing here. And then slowly again, just as slowly, come back. Left hand under the shoulder, right arm comes nice and long. So fully straight, palm faces down, bend the left knee, rolling over that right shoulder. So left hand can be there just for support. So one side might feel a little bit tight in the other. Again, that left knee can be stacked, maybe around the toes, or maybe that full sole, the left foot's down. Different, every day, every person, every side. Always taking that into mind. One more breath. And then slowly come back. Bring the left arm overhead. And then you're just gonna roll over. Scoot yourself back onto your mat. Take your knees into your chest. Just a tiny little cool down, not too much at the end of this practice. Worked up quite a bit of sweat. So bring the knees to the chest. And then bring the forehead to the knees. Curl yourself up. Do a tiny, tiny little bow. And then open up. Shavasana. Take your time. Finding that space through the body. So inversions, arm balances, kind of hip openers. Anywhere where the heart is higher than the head, which is really what an inversion is. Even down dogs. Standing folds and inversion. They can be quite energizing. So allowing that energy that you've created through your practice, your movement, and especially your breath, to really be absorbed in your Shavasana and your final rest. Take a little bit of extra time here, longer than you think, longer than you think you need. When you feel like getting up to go, take an extra eight to 10 breaths. See how that extra time can benefit you by taking it for yourself, spending it with yourself on your mat. 
benefiting not only physically, but mentally, emotionally as well. And wherever you are, enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your weekend. Hope you enjoyed your practice. And see you again soon.